There are five main ways to play the 22-piece ensemble that is Session Strings Pro 2. And there are 26 articulations as well. Now this is Session Strings Pro 2, not Session Strings 2 Pro, but the Pro second version of Session Strings Pro, and quite a tongue twister, as you can tell. So right now we're in the Modern Ensemble. And as you can see on the side here, we have many other configurations, including the sections of basses, celli, violas, and violins. And they are each divided, like the ensembles, into modern and traditional. And the main difference between those is the seating position, and that, that adjusts the, the stereo position of the sounds in your ears. All right, so the first way to play this, as with session strings two, <laughs> is the velocity switch, which we have selected right here in mode. So here we go. Now the main velocity switch operates by having a main, and then you can choose where the switch is. Right now it's set at, I believe, 100, okay, 112 of the, the, the MIDI dynamics go from 0 to 127, or 1 to 127, and so we have this set at 112 it was, and that is a fairly hard velocity. But because I'm using my X key, it won't be too hard to reach 112. And so it switches to accented at the top. Now we could change that. We could change that to portamento. And then we could change this to Legato, we could actually, it has both. On each side, it has the same list of, let's see, semi trill yeah. The same list of articulations. So that and I meant to put this on legato. <laughs> this probably means that I won't be able to play chords now. That's right. All right. Let's try another articulation. Let's try. do it here. Takes quite a bit before we reach the portamento. Alright. And we have our other things like we have trills and tremolo. So... Okay, so that is our velocity switch, and you can keep playing with it. You can even adjust the when it does it. Let's put it at uh, let's see, 64. Usually about half or 127 there. So.
right? Our next way to play it is the key switch. Now this is unique to Session Strings Pro. Okay, and to do this, I'm actually going to, I'm going to put this one to do the actual switching down more, more. Okay. So now we'll come over here and you can see that. go to the next articulation. And then to D1 is pizzicato. That may be more useful in some cases than the velocity switch. As we go over here, you can see that we can add other articulations as well. Let's uh, see if I can add that one. This is in no particular order. Uh, we have our trills, or trill semi. Let's do a trill hole, and then um, scoop, scoop fast. Let's go slide fast up. Okay, so. It's glissando. And this is the one we started with. Then we have our trills. to our trill hold tone. And we have our scoop. And then we have, finally, our slide. That is the key switch, which operates by you suppressing keys. Now, you could <clears throat> you could find it right here on your main keyboard and actually you know do it here. I like the I like the feel of doing it with my keys, actual keys, and I could actually do octave down on this to do it. There's probably enough room. Uh, let's just do it octave down. Yeah, here we go. Got our. Let's see if I have the whole range. Nope, I don't. So, in order to keep from losing any range, and still be able to change articulations, I like to have it on the separate. Just a little studio hack there. The next way <clears throat> that we can play Session Strings Pro 2 is the Rhythm Animator. Now the Rhythm, rhythm Animator is also a feature of Session Strings 2, and we're familiar with how it works.
right? And it repeats, as you can see, it repeats the entire. Velocity sensitivity means that if I play really soft, it will just, it will simply do the. We'll play soft, and as you press, it could be just one of the notes harder. The whole thing will become louder. It allows for for a somewhat. Uh, it's not completely natural, but a dynamics control. It allows for some some dynamics control of just doing this. Now, if you did want it to re-trigger, you hit the re-trigger button. I prefer to not have it do that. Although in some cases you may want it to reach it. And right now we are doing it with, uh, there are lots of controls on here. We have our, our triplets. Uh, let's put in triplets. So 32 steps, triplets. So the eighth note triplets, let's go quarter note. Back to eighth, sixteenth, uh, thirty tooth, now, that's, those are some fast triplets, so we can take it off of those and see how it is. Put it to triplets. Back to eighth. And then you can adjust the swing. other settings you can go through different uh, the, this is the in the step sequencer you can even build you can change the sequences make your own sequences we could we could modify what's there right you can you can add steps so on and so forth so that's a rhythm animator the next one we have and this is one is unique to session strings pro 2 is the phrase animator Right now, this is similar to the rhythm animator in that you have you're playing playing phrases with one one finger. Maybe can you play it with more fingers? Let's see. I've only used this feature a couple times, so yes. Now it shares it shares some similarities with the the smart chord in the way that in fact it's playing all kinds of it's playing chords as you do this but and it's 
to is velocity sensitive. So if you play chords, it tends to stick in that chord. Otherwise, it's just single note triggers. It'll change keys with the single note trigger. But if I play an F chord, it doesn't sound as good down there. So the phrase animator it's nice for phrases, as you can tell. And there's different uh, sections. So this is a, we can go to that one. So I need a little more practice with this, but as you can see, it it's it takes phrases and you can you can construct uh, uh, different patterns, different uh, tones and moods with these phrases. All right, that one was a little scary. Uh, okay, so we got glass. We can try stream. So that is the phrase animator. As we move over here, we have the smart chord. A smart chord, same as with session strings, uh, pro session strings two, but this is the pro. So now, I think because I have this on the phrase animator, it's still doing that. So let's just go to the the key switch and then go smart chord. playing chords as 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 we can see and and it plays them in whatever mode you've selected so if we were to go then to the rhythm animator So we have our, our one chord, two chord, three, this is the number system, four chord, five chord, six chord, and seventh chord, and then it goes, of course, back to the one. Now what the black keys do, notes do in this case, is that they, let's put it back to the, uh, what did I have velocity? Let's put it back to the key switch. Put it on sustain. <clears throat> What the uh, black keys do, as you can see on the keyboard below, is they modify your sound. So we want to make it warm on the one chord. That's a different feel. And then depth, 
crunch. Cinematic. Mm, yes, lots of space there. Tension. Ooh, too much tension. <laughs> so. So let's say, let's say we go one. Not the most perfect example, but... Okay, and I feel like I'm a smart chord split or something. Smart voice. No, I'm not. <laughs> now I am. And that is the eh, the other method, which may add a sixth one, is a smart voice split. And we'll, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Okay, so we have wide voicings, and you can change it to close. This is something that Session Strings 2 did not do. I think it was only close. So our five regular, five with depth. So, what is this? Okay, so we have that one. Now this is a little bit different. Memory. Okay, so we can go to minor. Dorian. Dominant. Melodic minor, harmonic minor, and as, as you've seen already, we can have the wide voicing, or the close voicing, which is my personal favorite. Now, root is C, so we could change the root to any other key. You're still hitting the C on your keyboard. But, but this is just to control the numbers of the chords, and it's easier, in many ways, it's easier starting from C, and I, th I think that's why they constructed it that way. So F. A. Now the other way that I kind of mentioned in passing was the smart voice split. And this splits the voices smartly. <laughs> so you can see it spreads them throughout uh, over the keyboard.
So you can play quite a bit with just this this little keyboard that I have. Just like So that's another way to play it. And over here, let's see. So those are the five. Now from there, there are hundreds of other things you can do here. This is a memory. I still need to look up what memory does. All right. So memory. According to this, sets master effects, mixer effects, and volumes, as well as on-off state for instrument groups. So, looks like these could trigger with the keys. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's a mystery. We'll cut that part out. So those were the methods. So there you have, so those are the five ways plus one of playing this instrument. Now, as we come onto the front panel here, there are some other things you can do, which are interesting. So you can see there's two instruments in each one and we can sort of highlight them and we can do things like turn off one of them. We can turn this all the way up so, so it doesn't switch. turn off that one, then we have no cellos. So if you did want to, let's say, half the size of it, so let's take the basses away, for example, just one uh, one cello that's so sort of add cello to and you could do the same for each of them you could go here let's say we just want uh, that one So that's something you can do. It's kind of interesting and very visual. I like it. I'm going to turn them back on. 
Now here you can see the ranges of the instruments. Can you move it? Yeah, you can. So I have the cellos go up higher in the range. Uh, that's as far down as you can put it. Now, as we go to mixer and effects, there are all, all kinds of other things that you can do. We're actually going to go back to the key switch, sustain. There you go. Mixer. Now this, this, I don't recall if Session Strings 2 has this thing where you can mix the microphone positions, it looks like, or the position, the volumes of each of the sections of the ensemble. In fact, Session Strings 2 just has the main and the effects. Uh, not so, the mixer is, a, is a, another thing altogether, as I think we can tell if we just go here. Yeah, Session Strings is just the one NKI. And here we go. Yep, just main and effects. So we have way more, way more control on Session Strings Pro 2. <laughs> I want to say 2 Pro, that's not right. Pro, the second edition. So we can turn on our compressor. violins and the violas and we come down. We could solo them if we wanted. For example. Now, so our EQ, we can play with that some. Is it on? It's on. Okay. hearing the difference very much on this but these must be the effects on the, the mixer part and then over here we have our over here we have our effects section which is shared with session strings 2 although there are many many more controls so we have Attack release, attack release, release velocity, bow noise, stereo width. We don't have all those here. We do have the humanize and the color. Yeah, see, those are all up here, right here. So humanize, can humanize the pitch. We can 
minimize the timing. Just to be extreme. I am pressing them at the same time. But it's not immediately hitting. It's, it's sort of... Now for me, I'd rather humanize pitch than timing. And then compressor. A gentle compressor. Punchy. Transparent. We can turn on, therefore, or oh, the EQ is on bow, wood, warmth. It's interesting that it has that. Hear that made a change. So yeah, Let's put that to wood. Ooh, sounds almost like a reed instrument. So these are not likely not settings that you would use unless you're trying to go for an un, rather unearthly sound. So let's we'll give it a little bump in the mids. In the highs, of course. Let's leave those in the middle, I, I should think. Or mostly in the middle. All right. Then we have our color, and color can be different things. So right now it's the uh, studio sound. So this is at the desk. We can go, we can say M Town. We can say Tube Seventy Six. So you have this this compressor on as well so that there's a little bit of other things vintage all right so these are the so it's the presets or room reverb anyway before i jump to room reverb so we have these are our our um sort of our our um, modes 
of color studio distortion modulation accent abstract that'll be fun and then these are the um see our modes and these are the sub modes is not right you get the idea so change that to grainy the presets of each mode So that's some of the more wild sounds, modulation. This would be interesting. Oh, here's our lo-fi. It's actually, a, it's like a tape detune. But it makes me think of lo-fi. other things. And there are many, many <laughs> filters. Uh, uh, filter, filter, yeah, I'm looking at the filter. There are many different ways to shape the sound through this color. Sounds almost like an organ because it's the rotor, the rotating speaker. So I can go distortion, that, and the distortion isn't always. It's not always like a distorted guitar necessarily. That's radio, old tape. And let's try one more, and then we'll we'll move on to the reverb section. Uh, stomp sounds interesting. Oh, wait, not in the distortion, but let's try, let's try accent. Nice. That one sounds interesting, so we'll do that one, and then we'll go on to the reverb. Actually, put this back to studio and desk sounds good, so we'll leave it there. Over here, we have our reverb right now, is in the room, medium sized room. With our pre delay, this is how much. Pre-delay, it says adjust the overall reverb level. We have a return level over here, which turns the delay on or off. All right. Let's try A room. Now, as these are all under the room category, it's going to sound a little similar.
So we can put it to plate, which is they used to have these plates back in the day. Different type of reverb. It's like a metal plate. Oh, we have clear plate, gold plate. What are we on right now? Clear plate, gold plate. And they would send the sound at these plates. And capture the... the reverb that would come from... Okay, that one... Oh, it'll stay that way. Okay, let's <laughs> put it over there. All right. Hall. Here's where we get the big effects. to a concert hall instead. Try one more. Let's try the algorithm. Try the mega hall. Yeah. <laughs> So that's our reverb. And then over here we have a delay, just a little bit different. So I just turn the delay. Now right now it's synced to my BPM of 120. Otherwise, it's so 47 milliseconds, 4 sixteenths. Why well, change the time? All right, so you can have fun with all of those. Now there's many, many more things you can do with this instrument, but we're just gonna focus on one or two more things here. As as you can see here, there's there's mode and there's sound. Sound, we have our, we've been through this before, we have our different sounds we can have, modern, lo-fi, loudness, razor, chamber, haunted strings. Right now we're at room strings, just verifying that so I can go back to it, so we have our modern lo-fi and as you can see it changed the configuration of the settings sections configuration of the sections it turned some of them off we can go over here on 
counted strings. Very thin sounding. Reverse slap. This is something I did in the delay setting. And somehow it's reverse. Oh, okay, so it's in the color, accent, reverse. The delay is turned on, so it reverses it. Now you can see it also changed the insert effects. It's on. It's it's got the lows turned down and the highs here. Compressor is not on. Pitch is altered there. Sometimes you can get a good sense of if you if you aren't so uh, confident making changes yourself, you can go to these settings and then see what they do, and go from there. Here is EQ is on bow now. Right now you can see what they did with the reverb, what they can, it did with the color, which that's actually off right now, so it's on the reverb. And then you can, you can use these, you can modify them, use them as inspiration for your own, own uh, settings and tweaks. Over here we have, this looks like all of the ones that I just went through there. Yeah. It is. So the uh, up here is the same as right here. pad we can see what they did okay it's some some different settings here very cool so that's been session strings pro number two <laughs> nope <laughs> that has been session strings pro the second version we'll play out with uh what should we pick analogy room strings yeah let's go back to room strings <laughs> <laughs> and play this out. <laughs>